So conservatives have already launched about a million different conspiracy theories as to why the FBI executed a search warrant at Mar-a-Lago last week. But I think I found the one that absolutely takes the cake here. We have Millie Weaver, who is allegedly an investigative journalist. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to have to ask that she put an asterisk by that because I don't know that she's done any actual investigations in the past. Uh, but she works for Lindell TV. And in case you can't put two and two together, that's Mike Lindell, my pillow CEO's media outlet, Lindell TV. And Millie Weaver came out recently and launched what might be the dumbest, not even the most far-fetched, but absolutely the dumbest conspiracy theory about why the FBI went down to Mar-a-Lago. And here it is, the dumbest thing you're going to see all day. Take a look. I mean, just judging by the cast of characters that we're seeing go after President Trump, it begs the question, did President Trump have Jeffrey Epstein's client list or does he? Is that a possibility? And the real question also is why has that list never been released? Elon Musk recently came out just a couple months ago and said, why hasn't the DOJ leaked Jeffrey Epstein's client list? I mean, we've seen this, uh, the, the Justice Department, the FBI wrought with leaks, right, when it suits their political agenda. But notice that that Epstein client list sure has been protected and it sure is classified, I'm sure. And I'm sure they're saying it's a matter of national security, given that many of the people most likely on his client list are politicians and men of power. You know what I love? You know what I just absolutely cannot get enough of? The fact that these conservatives, people like Millie Weaver, again, alleged investigative journalist, think that Epstein's clients were all Democrats, right? Like those are the only people that, oh, clearly it's the Clintons because we can place Bill Clinton on that plane. <sighs> Y'all do know. And I know you know this, like it's, it's very popular out there. There are photographs of Donald Trump with Ghislaine Maxwell. Maxwell, excuse me. I don't know what's up with me today. There's photographs and video of Donald Trump hanging out and judging women with Mr. Epstein. Like this was not a passing fancy. He's not a guy who just randomly showed up once or twice at Mar-a-Lago. This was Donald Trump's friend. And you think that, oh, he, he was going to expose all these people. Oh, Millie. Oh my God. You do realize he was one of those people. He was one of the friends. We can't necessarily say that he was on the client list or that he ever, you know, uh, was involved with any of the girls that Epstein had. We cannot say that, but we can clearly place the two together as very friendly, very chummy, and both very interested in multiple women. We also know, according to the women that Ghislaine Maxwell actually recruited, she recruited some of them from Mar-a-Lago. Like they were Donald Trump's people and Maxwell was going there and recruiting them to come and be slaves for Epstein essentially. So what the hell are you talking about? Like, Oh, Trump was going to expose them. Bull effing poop, right? <laughs> if anything, if Trump did have what you claim he had, which he didn't have, but if he had it, it's because he didn't want anybody to see his name on it. It drives me up the fricking wall folks to listen to these insane conspiracy theories from people who don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. And that is what we're dealing with here. And a lot of it, of course, has to do with Epstein. All the people think that, oh, Hillary Clinton had him killed. No, no, definitely not. Um, if anybody did, again, it would have been the guy that was in control of the FBI and the DOJ at the time when Epstein was found dead, which was Donald Trump, who was also friends with Epstein. These people are just so idiotic. They act like we don't all know what the hell was going on. Like we don't have that video footage of Trump and Epstein dancing and partying and Ooh, look at her over there. It's insane. These people are clearly just either outright stupid or they're trying to gaslight us. Like they've apparently driven me into a frenzy here into thinking something that didn't happen did happen. <laughs> I just can't sometimes. Sometimes it's very hard to do this when you're dealing with such, uh, such stupidity 
coming from the other side. And that is exactly what we heard in that clip from Millie Weaver. Pure, unadulterated stupidity. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.